Hi everyone, welcome to Stuss and Cheer. My name is Kirby, um, and we're gonna be doing hair and makeup tutorial today. So we're gonna start with hair. Um, you can have your hair either curled or straight. I've already curled mine. Um, and we do a braid and a braid into a low pony with a bow. Um, but the braid is either a French braid or a Dutch braid. So an inside braid or an outside braid. Um, so I'm going to tutorial. I have this whole set up. Okay. So you just part your hair normally. Um, so you'll start, you'll take a small chunk in the front, about this big. Um, you'll separate it into three parts. So I like to do a Dutch braid, which is an outside braid. Um, so instead of going, so instead of going on top, I go under. So the first braid, the first part of the braid, you'll do regular braid. So under the middle, and then I grab these two pieces with my right hand, and then with my middle finger and my thumb, I take the little, the little piece, and I add it to this strand, and then I bring it under the middle piece, and then I make sure it's tight. And then same with this side, I use my middle and my thumb to grab a small section and add it to the existing piece and then bring it under the middle. So then you just keep doing that. Bring it under, make sure all the pieces stay separated. I try to do not tiny sections, but like not huge, like medium, I guess. And bring it under. The smaller pieces you do, the more pieces of the braid you can have, like the more little braids. <laughs> So once I get down to my ear, I take the last little chunk, and that's where I stop the French braid. And then since it'll be going back into a ponytail, I just do regular braid, but I braid it towards the back of my head. Like I just go towards the back and just keep doing a regular braid. Once that side is done, you can tie it off, um, but my hair usually stays in the braid, so I don't need to tie it. So that side's done. Braid, one French braid. Then we do the other side. Some people have trouble with this side because it's the opposite side, so maybe you could have a friend do it, but if you're doing it yourself, you, again, you do the same thing. You just take a small chunk, divide it into three pieces, And you'll do one regular braid, so under the middle piece, once for each side. And then you'll use your middle finger and your thumb to grab a small section. And bring it under the middle piece. Make sure it's tight. Same thing on this side. Grab a piece, add it to the other one, under the middle. And you just keep doing the same thing. The braid that's on the smaller side of your part will be a smaller braid and it won't go, like this side is closer to my ear already so it won't be as long as a braid either. The 
but if you add bigger pieces to it, it makes it a little bit more chunky. So I'm at my ear already. So I take this last piece and go under. If you want to add another piece from this side to like even out your the um, like width of each strand, you can. And then so at your ear, and then you'll just braid backwards so it goes easier into your ponytail. And then again, you can tie it off to make it easier to put in the ponytail. But my hair stays in a braid. So, okay, so then you have the two braids towards the back. So then we'll do you'll do a low pony. Not not too low. I like to do about like middle of the head, back of the head. So You'll grab a brush and you'll just brush it back into a smooth ponytail. And you can either put in a hair tie right now and then add in the braids, but I usually just add in the braids in the first ponytail. So once your hair is all smooth, you can add in the braids and put it in a ponytail. And make sure your hair is out of your face. We don't want any wispies all in the braid. And then you'll put in your bow. I don't have a bow, but you'll put in your bow. And make sure you um, untie your braids. If you had tied them off, you untie them in your ponytail. So you either just have curls or straight hair ponytail. So the final product should look something like this. Braid on both sides. So again, you can do a Dutch braid, an outside braid like this, um, where you bring the strands under the middle piece, or you can do a French braid. That's more of an inside braid where the strands go over the middle piece. Um, either way, but um, both a braid on both sides um, into the ponytail with no wispies and lots of hairspray. Okay, so today I'll be doing my game day hair and makeup. My hair right now looks crazy and bad because this is what it will look like on Saturday mornings at 7 a.m. when you gotta get ready for games. So, right here. I usually get it wet with the spray bottle. Um, Coach. Um, Coach usually wants us. So the girls usually put their hair with a braid in the front. And um, sorry, I'm getting distracted because this spray bottle smells weird. Okay, so usually they do a braid in the front. You can part it in a middle part or side part. If you have braids in your hair, you can do the same thing. Or if you have a weave, you can. But instead of doing a braid on our hair, I do flat twist. Because the braids don't, like something about doing the braid on the natural hair, it looks really weird because it's a cornrow and it doesn't turn out right. So you can either part your hair in a middle part or a side part. I do side part because I think it looks better. So... You part your hair in a side part. Um, let's see. Not the best at parting my hair, if I'm being honest. Okay, and then once you do that, you need to separate the part of your hair that is going to be twisted in the front. You usually do like a big one you can do both sides but i prefer to just twist one side honestly um okay i keep going oh, 
like so i'm trying to think of how much i usually don't twist a big amount because it's not really necessary and then you just make sure it's separated properly i'm not good at parting so usually i just don't care i kind of just leave it looking crazy because you can't really tell unless Okay, I guess if you're looking from the stands at a football game, they can probably tell. But, yeah. Okay. I look crazy right now, but it's gonna turn out nice. I swear. <laughs> okay, and then back here, it looks crazy. Okay, so that part separated out. So, while I leave that part alone, you put the rest of your hair just back for now. And you flat twist this. So, flat twist it, I usually use some gel to make sure that it turns out nice. And where's the comb? Um, just make sure you comb it through and it's moisturized because you don't want your hair to be all gross. I did not part it very well, which honestly, I don't care. You can't see it after you flat twist it, so it doesn't really matter. And then I usually put gel on this twist part. And a flat twist is really easy to do. Um, you just take like two strands. You take the first strand of wherever you're starting and you twist. Like it's simple, like you just pull it under, pull it under, and you pull it under, and pull it under, and you make it tight so it doesn't look like ridiculous and crazy, then you pull it under, pull it under. And in the end, it'll like end up looking better once you do your edges and stuff. For now, we're just gonna leave it like that. Okay, see, so we did that part and I put some gel in the ends because they're like going everywhere right now. Okay, so that's the flat twist part. And okay. So that part's twisted, I put some gel so it won't come undone. And for now we're just gonna leave that alone. So next, um, for this part, you slick it back. That's what you do for game days. And obviously my hair looks crazy right now. But it, yeah, it's best to slick your hair back because all the girls wear it in a low pony. So I just do a low slick back and you use tons of gel to get your hair to even get in that position. And I use a hard brush. And I just brush it back, put tons of hair gel all over like the parameter of my head because it looks crazy right now, but it turns out nice. And then when you do that, you brush so your hair knows what it should be doing. Okay, and then I take a really strong hair tie. And so, while I'm doing this, you want to put more gel on top and keep brushing so it'll get super flat. So you can put it back. Sorry, I look absolutely crazy. I'm going to work just to try and some, ignore my ugly wrinkly shirt. I literally just look up. So that's literally all you have to do. I and mean, usually you use more gel because on game days you want to use a lot of gel because you're going to be outside for a good eight hours and you don't want your hair coming unslickified and then you look crazy. So you do that. And then there's your bun. And then on the bun, put tons of oil, like tons of moisturizer because you're going to be in the sun all day and you don't want your hair drying out because that is actually how your ends get damaged when you're sitting in the sun and your hair is not moisturized it is not finished okay so next 
you bobby pin this back. I usually put it all the way back here. And then next thing you do is you do your edges. You don't look crazy. And so you use edge control and gel. You give yourself some edges in the front. And my hair still looks crazy, just wait on it. It's not finished yet. And I usually take a toothbrush of any kind and wet it up. And then I start my edges. So, once you get your edges wet, you don't need to lay it right. I do this before I do my makeup. Well, honestly, it doesn't matter. But I personally do it before I do my makeup because your hair okay so i just put all this gel in it it has to sit and it needs to dry because a lot of girls are like well i do my hair and i slick it down but it never lasts well that's because you don't give your hair a chance to dry you know i don't like this edge brush okay i'm using a toothbrush but yeah your hair needs to dry so you should do it before you do your makeup because honestly you probably want your makeup to be the last thing you do on the start of game day and yeah but I don't think you guys need to see the part of me doing my edges. You just go all the way around, you swoop and you swoop in the shape of the part. And yeah. Okay, done slicking my edges. They look a little weird and shiny right now. So what you do is right under your edges, you take water and you wipe it off. And you do this because when you do your makeup, it's gonna leave a sticky layer on your face and you don't want that getting in your makeup. Like, it's a good idea. And I usually take a towel and wipe it off. Take a towel, so I use my scarf. And then after you do your edges, make sure you have a scarf. This is like the most important part. You use a scarf because your hair is not gonna stay like this. So you, I'm gonna put some more gel on it because you can never have too much gel in your hair. So you take a scarf and you put it about, and you make it really tight and you squeeze and you try it and you leave this on for a good as long as you can honestly a good 15 20 minutes and usually i do this while i'm gonna do my makeup next so i usually leave the scarf on there and let my hair dry under there and then you can keep messing with your bun you can keep moisturizing it and curling it right now it looks crazy because my hair is dirty but usually it'll look curly and you could put more gel in it to curl it up more oil in it because you need lots of oil for game day because you do not want your ends to get damaged because that's why you have to cut them off when they get too damaged and dried out because it is lacking moisture. And yeah, so. So now we're moving on to makeup. Um, so this is how I do my makeup. Everyone can do it a little bit differently, but the main thing that we do all do the same is eyes. So we do um, a smoky eye with like neutral colors. I usually use brown, like a darker brown and a lighter brown or gold. Um, so yeah, so I always start with a primer. I'm using Too Faced Do You Fresh Glow. I don't know, it looks like this. I just got it. <laughs> I got it at TJ Maxx. <laughs> so, no matter what primer you use, a primer is good to hold your foundation for the whole day because we do have very long days in the sun. Um, and a primer just makes your makeup on go a little bit easier. It doesn't have to be a colored primer. It can be a regular primer. Okay, so primer's on. Um, I do foundation next. Um, I had two different ones. The one I'm using right now is Tarte. I don't know. Um, but it's full coverage. I like full coverage. Um, and it does have sunscreen in it, which is also good for games because it's very hot. And the sun is very unforgiving. Um, and then this other one I have is Kat Von D Locket. Um, this one stays all day, like for real stays all day. So I would usually use this one. Um, but that one, I'm using this one. So put the foundation on. And you 
you want to make sure you put foundation on your neck too so it blends down. And if you have one foundation that doesn't match, you can mix a couple. And I use a brush to blend it out. It blends a lot smoother with um, primer on. Foundation is on, and then I use powder to set it. Um, this is a sample I got. It's Too Faced Peach Perfect. Put the powder on. To set it. I also use a setting spray at the end, so if you don't like to use powder, you can also use a setting spray at the end. powder I do contour um, I use Anastasia contour um, so not everyone does contour but I like to do it because it gives just like a little bit of something so I use like an angled brush kind of and then I go right under my cheekbone And then I go around my hairline. And then I also do my nose a little bit. And then my jaw. So, next I blend, blend it all out so I look like a normal person. contour and if you have been doing cheer for a while or even not a while um, you know that people in the stands can't see very much so blush is one thing that if you think you have too much on you probably have just enough on just makes you pop a little bit more I always put a little bit too much on, so I blend it out a little bit. Okay, so next I do a little bit of highlight. Not a ton because we do get sweaty at games, so I don't want to do much highlight, but I do put a little bit above my cheekbones and on my nose. Again, everyone does their makeup differently. You don't have to do it exactly like me, but this is just what I do. So, so I do my face first, so my face is done. Um, and then I move on to eyes, and this is what we all do the same, or relatively the same. So I start off, I start off with a primer for my eyes because again, we are outside for a really long time. So primer helps the eyeshadow stay. So I don't usually use a brush, I kind of just smear it on with my finger. And 
And I put my primer a little bit outside of where I do my makeup just so that when I blend like the outside of my, where I have my eyeshadow that it still like stays there, like the blended up parts. Okay, so, um, again, everyone can do it a little bit, a little bit differently, but the colors should stay kind of neutral and natural. Um, so I use this Morphe palette. Um, it has like, it's pretty natural. It has a bunch of browns and neutrals, I guess. So I start, I just grab just a brush, and um, I start on the outside of my eye. I do, um, so for a smoky eye, the outside is darker and the inside's lighter and then you blend it. So I start, um, like on the crease of my eye, I start and I put the brush um, like from the middle of my eye and then I go around the crease all the way to the bottom and then I fill it in with the color, um, the darker color on the outside. So we'll start with that. Um, so I usually do, I guess I usually do like this color, that one. So it's a brown. So I get some on the brush. And then I go start in the middle of my eye and I go down the crease to the side of my eye. And then once I do that, I just kind of fill in the half of my eye. I'm also adding in a little bit darker color. Just a little bit darker. Okay, so this is one side. I'll show you both when I'm done this side. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the other side and do the same thing, the half dark. I'm gonna start in the middle at the crease and then go down to the side of my eye. And once I get to the side, I will just fill in that half of my eye. And you try to make the shape a little, mostly the same. Okay. So this is what it looks like at the moment. This is step one after the primer after the eye primer um so i keep this brush i grab a new brush to do the lighter color um i do a much lighter color i do i usually either do gold on the inside or i do this color it's pretty light And I do it on the inside. And I just cover the rest of my eye that doesn't have the dark with this lighter color. Do it on both sides. So then it should look something like this. No, it doesn't look like much of a difference, but we're getting there. So then I grab a third brush so that I can blend, because I don't want either one of the colors I'm blending with. So I just start at the top in the middle where the two colors like touch and then I just do little circles all around that area where they're touching to blend it out. So it's not so much of a harsh line. And you'd rather have it more blended out to where the colors like fade better than having a harsh line of both colors. If you 
get anything from this video, it's that blending is very important. It's important in your contour, it's important in your eyeshadow. Nothing should be too, too harsh. It should all blend nicely together. Okay. So, this is blended. I know it's very hard to see, but um, let's see. This is what it looks like now. Um, I'm going to add more of the lighter color in the corner of my eye. Just so that there's a little bit more of a difference there. And then if you want to add more darker color to the outside, you can. I would only add it to like the very outside. I wouldn't add it anywhere close to the middle. And then, yeah, so that's that. Um, this is what my eyeshadow looks like. And then after this, I do some eyeliner. So, not everyone does eyeliner. I like to do it. Um, you can either do, if you choose to do eyeliner, um, I mean, personally, I like eyeliner, but you can do either like a straight line or you can do a wing. I'm not so great at the wing. I try to do it, but. So I use, let's see, I use the Kat Von D Ultra Ink Liner. I really like it. It gives a really straight line. Um, so for eyeliner, you don't want to have it too thick. It doesn't need to be overpowering, just like a little, a little bit, you know. It takes a lot of focus for me. So I just did a straight line, I did a little wing, I'm not great at a wing, so I didn't do a big one. So next, um, I would usually put on false eyelashes um, or sometimes I have eyelash extensions so then I don't have to do anything for lashes. Um, you can use just mascara, but I definitely would curl them and um, get like a really good mascara. I use this Tarte mascara, the lights, camera, flashes, lashes. Um, but um, even if you don't know how to put on lashes, someone on the team probably does so they can help you out with that. Um, so I'm gonna curl my lashes since I will just be using mascara today. In the past, I have had eyelash extensions and they are very helpful because you don't have to do anything, which is great. Especially if we have an early game and we have to be ready super early, that's one less step to do. But again, you can also use falsies or just regular mascara. My eyelashes are super short though, so I do whatever I can to help them out. Okay. So now I'm gonna put on a little bit of mascara. So I know sometimes waterproof mascara doesn't like give you everything that a regular mascara does, but I would suggest waterproof mascara because a lot of times in Florida, our games have rain during them and we keep cheering. So if you have waterproof mascara, your mascara won't run. Okay, 
So my eyes are done. Um, the last thing is lipstick. You want to, you have to have lipstick. Like you can't not have lipstick. Um, so I use. This is a super good lipstick. It's um, it's Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink. It stays on all day. Like it stays through the whole game. I never have to reapply it. This color is Lover. It's kind of. It's like a pink, but like kind of mauve. I don't know. I wear it every game. I really like it. Um, it looks like this. I don't know. Everyone has different, everyone looks better in different colors, but it has to pop a little bit. Not like super bright red, but like, but it could be like a, a red or a pink or like a mauve. Just something that you can tell you're wearing lipstick. And then if you do that, lipstick comes off. And then it doesn't get on your teeth. So that is it. Oh, it's not. Setting spray. I use Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. You have to have setting spray. It's a must because you don't want it to come off during the game. So this kind of extra security. I use the powder at the beginning and I use this. Okay, now we're done. So that is it. Um, you can use drugstore makeup, you can use nice makeup, it really doesn't matter as long as um, you, um, just as long as it's good colors on you, it works for your skin. Um, the only thing I would suggest is foundation. If I would for to buy anything that's like super expensive or super nice, it would be foundation that stays on really well. If you can find a cheap one, that's great. Share it with the rest of us. Um, the best one I found though is the Kat Von D Locket. It literally stays on through anything, the rain, sweat, whatever. Um, other than that, that's it. Um, but the main things to remember is Good foundation, neutral, natural, smoky eye, and lipstick that pops. So just again on the products that I had the most success with, this is the foundation, the Kat Von D Locket that works really well. This is what the bottle looks like. It stays on all day. This um, mascara works really well for me um and then i i highly suggest this maybelline um lipstick it stays on all day it's great okay so this is a close-up on the final final product so hair and makeup all done here are my eyes so there shouldn't be a super harsh line from foundation. It should be blended into your neck. There shouldn't be a harsh contour line. Your eyes should be nice and blended. The only the harsh lines you should have would be eyeliner and lipstick. So this is, this is everything. Good luck. Okay, so my edges are dry and I just took a shower and I took out my eyebrows wax. You should probably do that for game days. But all you have to do is put in a bow. All right, and then. And that's how you do game day hair. And then, so now I'm gonna do my makeup. Um, the makeup for game day is pretty simple. She just likes a smoky eye with a red lipstick. Now, the red lipsticks kind of vary in color from the people on the team. I'll show you why, but I prefer a darker red lipstick because I think darker red lipsticks looks better on darker skin. Like, the lighter it is, the lighter it'll just blend into her skin. So it's kind of pointless for us. But okay, so I'm putting oil and primer. And this will take two seconds. Like, I don't do much to my makeup. But she does want the smoky eyes so that is like a good socket. 
and I am actually have not been getting sun so my foundation is too dark for me that'll probably happen because preseason will make you dark so I'll just do it but you just blend it in nice but okay so that's that and then my beauty blender <laughs> my beauty blender and yeah so i start i put color corrector under my eyes because i do have dark circles so i do that just to take care of them and oh yeah i put something around my neck because usually i'll have my uniform on already and i do my hair and my makeup with my uniform party on. So I put something around my neck to um, prevent it from staining my uniform. Cause the worst thing is getting makeup on your uniform. So, then that out. This part doesn't really matter much, so. Okay, so next is foundation. Now, during, after preseason, you're probably gonna get dark. So I would recommend buying a foundation that's like your normal color and then like your darker color. This one is my darker color. I don't have a lighter one yet because I haven't been getting sun and don't wear makeup a lot. So if you have this problem and it's not your exact color, you can see it's fine. But yeah, so you can see it's not really my color, but that's okay. As long as you don't cake it on your face, then this can easily be blendable. I'm gonna show it and and if you do color correct under your eyes, I don't put the foundation under my eyes. Oh, you can see it's not my color, but who cares? I just blend it in. I know I'm not the only one. Well, I will say though, okay, so for on game days, it is extremely hot. So for the first half of the season, I would recommend not using your blush and highlight or contour. I say that because the second we are outside, you will sweat it off and you will waste your expensive precious makeup. So it makes sense to not use all that extra stuff until later in the seasons when it's not hot and you're not gonna sweat it all off. Cause literally the second you start sweating, all your contour will be gone. Like it is a waste, especially highlight. It's so pointless. It's nice to take cute pictures at first if that's what you really want to do. But besides that, I would recommend not wasting money. Like that. See? So even though it was my color, like it blends in really nice. And yeah. After that. And since I got my eyebrows done, I don't have to like contour under my eyebrows because they're already done. So. It's hard to see, but sorry. Okay, so that's all that is. But what is good to do? So like my makeup still looks greasy. You can still see the wrinkles under my eyes and stuff. So that's why you use powder and you let this stuff sit setting powder you just put it on let it sit while you work on the rest of your stuff so because you want your under eyes to set but you also want to like leave this let it sit and bake and i kind of put too much on but who cares it's all going the same place Forehead, get the forehead. Don't forget to blend it. You still got your scarf on. Just avoid the forehead. Go back and blend at the end. But yes, okay. Horn. Oh, sorry. Okay, so while I'm letting that bake, I don't really have a lot on. Hold on. I'll put more. There we go. That's kind of a lot actually, but it's okay. Okay, so while I let that bake, that's when I start working on other stuff like my eye makeup. Let me move the camera. So to do my eye makeup, I'm not talented or skilled. Coach Cassie wants us to do a smoky eye and you can use eyeliner. And I think when you do smoky eye with winged eyeliner, it looks good. But I'm not skilled like that. So I use scotch tape. Um, and then you 
put them like at angles next to your eyeballs. Look at that piece was kind of long. Oh, this piece is kind of long. It doesn't really matter. You put them right there, right there. So your wing eyeliner, it'll just go right there. You're kind of cheating the system, but who cares? And you try to get both pieces of tape to be the same one, but I got really long pieces of tape, so it doesn't really matter. And try to put them at similar angles. Yeah. Okay, so now for my eyeshadow, I am also not that talented. So I only have one palette and for black girls to do a smoky eye, I would recommend not using black. It just doesn't look the same on our skin as it does to girls who are lighter than us. So I recommend using brown, like dark brown. It looks good. Like it sounds crazy, but it actually turns out pretty nice and it looks the same as like doing a regular one, but I'm not good at a smoky eye. So like I literally did a smoky eye the first time when I came to Stetson. So you kind of just guess. So I just put like the, there's like a dark brown and then there's a dark brown with like a shimmery part in it. So I put the regular one first on my lids. I have hooded eyelids, so it's actually a lot harder. You're probably not gonna see what it looks like at the end. That's why it's very undramatic. So Coach Cassie doesn't really press doing crazy dramatic stuff. There are some girls on the team who are very talented, but I am not one of them. So I just put the brown on my lid. And I kind of do it in like a swoopy motion because I want it to match um, the wing liner that I'm gonna put on. So I put the dark one on first, it's just a simple dark. And you see it's kind of sticking out next to it. I'm sorry, it's really hard to see, but hopefully you guys get the gist of what I'm saying. I've hooded eyelids, so I'm literally the worst person to show you how to do it. <laughs> I don't know how to do it, so I just, use this and I, I'll blend it out later but I'm not there yet so I just put the dark here and do that with the same one because at the end you want them to look like sisters they won't be twins but you want them to look similar so I try to do them at the same time and right now I know it looks crazy but it'll turn out well and that's why the tape is there because as soon as you take off the tape it'll be crisp and nice so you can touch the tape all you want look it's not gonna matter at all and you just try to match with the other side. Sorry, my mirror is up here, so I'm gonna look at the mirror real quick. I'm still putting on the regular dark and I put it into my eyes. Try to go as high up on both sides. So this side is higher, so I'm trying to match them. Oh man, I went a little high. Uh, hold up, okay. All right, I went a little high with it, but who cares? Okay, so that's done. So now I put the shimmery part. So this is what I got. I went really high, my bad. It's okay. And then I put the shimmery one above it. And I'm gonna blend this together, but I put the shimmery right on right above it just to, you can't even tell like it's shimmery at all, but it just looks pretty. And okay, yeah. So when I say I went high, I mean, I accidentally made this line way high up there. So it's blend this to make it match. It looks so crazy. I know you're looking at me like I'm freaking crazy, but I promise it'll turn out really pretty and nice in the end. I just don't have the best lighting, so I'm sorry about that. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, it's blended. It's good enough. Um, Yeah, I usually just blend it so it doesn't look so sharp. And so it kind of just looks like I popped it on there. And I blend it with this thingy thing I got from Target. And while you're doing this, you should still have your scarf on because your hair will be drying, but I went to work. So I skipped that part. Here. Okay, so, so basically I literally start by, I follow the tape. Like there's already a wing here. Don't start your liner at the top of the shadow. That will look crazy. Like do it here so it'll blend in. It'll look like natural, like you meant for that to happen. Oh. And you try to do them back and forth, back and forth, because you, the worst thing ever is when they 
one eye is really nice and then one looks nice but they don't look like similar at all and then you look crazy and it just won't turn out the way you want and this is why the tape is really nice see like this looks crazy right now but i promise you when i take tape off they look really nice i just go and with my lining what i meant is like some people do their liner all the way in here i do not because i have thin eyes and as you can see and it actually looks really bad i noticed in pictures when i had done it so during the season, you'll know what looks good in your skin. After the first games, you'll get pictures and then you'll see what looked good and what didn't last and you'll know how to improve. And sometimes coach likes for you to pack some makeup in your bag to touch up just in case, but you really don't have to do much touching up during the games as long as you set it in the beginning and don't pick at your face during the game. It's that simple. Just don't be rubbing your eyes and stuff, but and I know a lot of people don't have experience with makeup, but the one thing is to not touch your face. I'm still going. They don't look alike right now. That their eyes are different. So this one's higher. So I'm gonna try to make this one match a little better. And this is also work in progress. I am not good at makeup at all. I'm not good at liner, but I practice for the games and my hair, is, eh, my edges look a little ass. So I don't look at them, but this is the game day hair. Basically a poof. And it'll look better when my hair's not dirty, but yeah. And then you just do a flat twist. And because the girls do braids and the braids just don't look the same on us, so. Okay, this is good enough for now. Um. I'm not the best at liner or anything, so I'm not gonna like put my heart and my soul at, like you guys get the gist. So use tapes, and now I'm gonna take tape off and hopefully I didn't screw it up. Please don't screw up. Meh. Meh. Who cares? Um, it looks decent. Could be better. Next time, don't do your tape so high up. Mine were actually high. But you see how it let a crisp line crisp clean. So what I do after that is I brush off the setting powder. Okay, so I brush off the setting powder under my eyes and I try to blend because where the tape was, you need to blend that back in because you'll look crazy. So this is actually a burning brush, so I don't know how to use it very well. But I just use a big brush to brush off my setting powder. And I'm not done yet, so don't think I'm done yet because I'm not. <laughs> oh, I was mm, well, whatever. Who cares? I was gonna say I should you should have done your lipstick while I was still setting, but it doesn't really matter. This is what I got so far. I'm not done. Cause it still looks a mess. You gotta add some finishing touches, fix the brows, put some lashes. You can use fake lashes. I don't know how to put fake lashes on yet, but I'm going to learn. So I just use a lot of mascara. And usually you have no issues with the mascara unless it starts raining and only rained one time last season while we were cheering and it was pretty awful. But besides that, it's usually good. Okay, so that's done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, now my skin looks dry and gross. So that's where you put the setting spray on. After you do that, you put on setting spray. And you're not done yet. You just do set a spray to set your, you know, blah, blah. I don't know where my setting spray is, so I'm gonna use this instead. Okay. And then while that's happening, that's when I do my eyebrows. I got mine waxed, so I don't have to do too much to them, but they still need to be touched up. And everybody has different methods for eyebrows, so do what looks good on your face. Because some things that work for one girl doesn't work for the others. And I think that's why Coach Cassie wants us making videos. Just to help the newbies know that if you don't come to game day looking exactly like Tegan, it is okay. Now everybody is as talented and pretty as Tegan. Because she's pretty and really good at makeup. I am an amateur, but I try my best. And it's turned out pretty nice. My wings could have turned out better. 
but honestly it's okay it's a work in progress yeah they usually will be thicker so i'm sorry they look really thin right now because i put the tape too high up and i peeped that in the middle of it so next time don't be like me in a rush it's skip step i just didn't want to make the longest video in the whole wide world i'm just fixing my eyebrows and i usually use setting spray again to keep my eyebrows intact but everybody does their eyebrows differently so i can't tell you what to do mine are already waxed so i don't do much okay so we're on to that next i do my lashes and i use lots of mascara on game day it's good to have lots of mascara pack it in your bag so you can fix it up just in case it gets clumpy and gross during the game day and yeah I'm not gonna tell you how to do your mascara because everyone has their own way and honestly you don't have to keep this on anymore my face looks a little greasy but i'll fix that so it depends on the setting spray you have i have a matte one that gets rid of the grease but i don't have it right now so that's why i just made my face a little greasy is that it okay mm -hmm. No, I don't think that's such a good idea. No, yeah, and you, this is the part where you put your fake lashes on, but I don't know how to do that. So sorry, but you should learn for the game. That's what I, my plan is to land this summer. So I can wear them in game days because this eye look will look so much better with fake lashes, but I am not Beyonce, so. Next, I do my little highlight, but I recommend not doing this all the time because you will sweat it off so it's kind of pointless but it looks really nice in the pictures i'm not sure if you guys can see the lighting in here it is like it's good but it's a little too good with this no <laughs> okay no <laughs> okay well i'll just stick with what i got okay so next i'm gonna show you guys lipsticks I'm gonna show you guys the reason why I personally wear darker lipsticks for games because I will show you how one looks on me and how one. I'm not saying that it looks ugly. I'm not saying the light colors that the other girls wear are not cute. They are cute. They just don't stand out for me personally. So I have a very light red that most of the Caucasian women wear. And this is the dark red that I wear. So I will show you what the light red looks like and show you why I prefer not to wear it. Okay, this is the light mauve color that a lot of the girls wear. It usually has more of a reddish tint. This is more pinkish, but this is it. It's not ugly, but it doesn't stand out, especially against my skin tone. It's just, it's not it. Especially when you're at a game and you're in a stand and you're far away. It looks like it's just my lip color. So I prefer to use a darker red. Like, a, I like the darkest red because it looks good on my skin color. And I think it looks good on black people. And this is the dark red. See how it just stands out more for my skin tone? I think it looks a lot better. And it's not dry yet, but once it dries. And you don't have to go with this dark, but I just prefer darker for darker girls. Okay. And this is what it looks like outside. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the best lighting, but it's kind of hard in Ohio. But this is what it looks like. See how the red just looks at on our skin tone. You got the smoky eye. It could be a little better, but you got the gist. You got the flat twist. Got this and game day ready.